This is my house. I bought five acres on a field for a reason. Lucky for me, that field is surrounded by trees. However, those trees are just planted pines. And those planted pines are surrounded by fields. Fields of just simply grass or crops. My area is lacking in biodiversity. Small hot spots within those fields of planted pines consist of trees. Trees that have some little biodiversity still left in them. It's my goal and my mission to take my five acres and spread it as far as I can. A year since we did, we had about seven or eight truckloads of mulch hauled in. After a year, the mulch starts to break down, but what it turns into is what's truly amazing. This nice organic compost. Because when I come home, I love to see wildlife and animals. How amazing would it be to just drive down your driveway into a scenery like this? Vines hanging from trees, somewhat reminiscent of a jungle or forest. Or on your way home, trees on either side of the road. Such a more enjoyable environment, being surrounded in wildlife and trees. Yeah, it's dark and I'm still planting trees. This is uh, the fifth tree now. But uh, the key is, you know, everybody wants to put off planting trees or saving the environment or put it off on the next person. When the truth is, we really can't rely on anybody to plant a tree for us. We have to do it ourselves. So when you think of it, do it. Think of a way you can be proactive towards getting to the state you want to live in. So I'm going to take this nice composted mulch that we put down about a year ago and drove over for a solid year straight and mix it into the soil to help improve the soil's quality because you can see what we have here is mostly just a sandy soil and I'm trying to bring the organic material up so that way the trees will have a more nutrients available this will help mycorrhizal root in the soil the mushrooms and the fungus will help release some of the nutrients that are tied up in this carbon right here and make it available to the trees and plants we're going to plant some crinum lilies and try and create a water habitat right here in this basically desert that we have for a yard so just one more small micro ecosystem we're going to add to our yard to kind of diversify our environment a little bit the environment you want to live in the condition you want to live in so right here i'm planting a shade tree this is a river birch it's gonna be a really cool nice shade tree when it gets bigger um, yeah some trees are expensive but seeds are not expensive you can buy seeds just about anywhere or you can just find them they're everywhere and the best trees you can plant are usually the trees from your own environment trees from right around your surroundings where you're at those are the trees that you can assure yourself are going to make it in that environment. So the key to it is just take the first step. Yeah, it's late, but I know if I don't do it now, then tomorrow's going to be another day that it never got done. So you can see here, these are some of my bromeliads. Uh, the power line crew just came and cut off all my screenings on that whole roadside over there. Trying to build a forest. This is a little bit of woods that I actually had on my property. This was like a hundred year old homestead right here. I actually spent many years living here. I used to admire the trees and plants and stuff that were planted there. And looking at it now, that was one of the few lots that was left here in Gainesville that still had some old growth forest in it. But now it's all gone. I'm watching it all disappear little by little right before my eyes. Um, as you can see, I have a nice understory layer coming in. Um, this was a trail I made. I had dumped mulch in order to add organic compost to the soil. So here's kind of what the soil looks like underneath. It's actually started to decompose and you can see mycelia in there, which is a important fungal network that helps to release nutrients to the roots of the trees that you want to grow. So if you want to have a healthy tree, Nutrients need to be available, and sometimes the only way to get the nutrients in the soil is to have a healthy fungal network because we can't always rely on chemicals that man makes to uh, produce the nutrients a tree needs. So to have the best, most healthy trees, we actually have to add some organic material in this situation because there was just nothing here. This was planted pines 
and we're starting from scratch essentially. It's like a desert. So the wind always blows trash in. But it's just something that with time you'll be able to get to a state that you want to be in, you know. So I'm planting about five trees a day. On the weekend I'm planting anywhere from 10 to 15 trees trying to create a food forest and a habitat for the native wildlife that's in my area and I'm really excited I've been seeing a lot more animals and stuff coming um, we just saw a little family of Sherman fox squirrels which are really cool and I hope those guys will stick around um, I don't mind sharing some of my apples and pears and peaches with them or acorns or the buds off of this here river birch I don't mind sharing it all because I enjoy their presence so just the key is the first step get out there and do it don't wait till tomorrow and don't wait for somebody else to do it just go out there and do since it since living at my parents house my father taught me a lot about trees and plants we planted many of them I started my own collection and this is what little bit I have left of it I eventually plan to plant all these plants around my five acre field just wanted to show you all my little pond that I created basically I just had a tub that would hold water and I took some moss from a creek right there that moss right there and some of the limestone since building this little micro ecosystem I've noticed finches nesting in the area lizards in the area and I'm hoping to get some amphibians like frogs and tadpoles in there too please give this video a thumbs up and post in the comment section what you thought about this video or any tips and suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching this episode and subscribe. Thanks again y'all and happy gardening. When I was a child I remember my father finding a yellow rat snake in our birdhouse. He told me about the circle of life and through time I learned about the balance of our ecosystems. Every day a new adventure, a new creature, shows like the crocodile hunter. It became my goal to catch every species of animal possible. Then YouTube came along and gave me a platform. Now I can share with my subscribers. Thanks for your support. It means a lot to me, the Florida wildlife guy. adding some organic material to the edge of the pond so I can plant a nice vegetation layer around it help to draw in some different wildlife and stuff maybe some frogs <coughs> that's our rooster he's amazing his name's Caesar Julius Caesar that's Julius Caesar he's the leader that's our dog Princeton <coughs> and Zoe You in the video? I don't have a lot of that, man. Okay. I'm gonna beat you, but.